Hello and welcome to this video where we'll show you how you connect MailTrap to your Rats and Blazers Studio application. And for those of you who don't know what MailTrap is, it is a service that catch the emails when they leave your system so that the emails don't get to the real users of the website. And in that way you can actually test your emails without them being sent to the real users. And let me show you an example here. I have my inbox here at MailTrap. So if I click this, you can see over here that this is my inbox and I have two emails. And as you can see, this is sent from event and then event website.com and it should have been sent to my private email but because i'm using the mail traps mail server it's just being sent to mail trap so i can see the email here and it was actually just a please confirm your registration mail that was sent but now let's go and try and set it up inside rats and blazes studio but the first thing we need to do is to go back to the inboxes and then click this gear icon because it's in here that you will get the credentials to set up MailTrap's mail server to your Rats and Blazes Studio application. And we want to hit this show credentials. And the information we want to use is the host and the username and the password. So if we go and copy the host and go to our Rats and Blazes Studio application and go to security and we want to choose the ASP.NET Core identity. And inside here, you also want to have a database set up already so it knows where to put the tables of the identity framework. But now when you click the allow user registration and the allow password reset, you can see that we get this email server. And I'll just scroll a bit out again, zoom out, control minus, just so we can see all the fields here. And in the email server, we want to paste in the SMTP mail traps mail server. And let's go back and copy and paste the username and also the password. And it's actually okay to use the SSL. But now when we hit finish on this, it will actually not work just out of the box. And that's because normally when you put in a mail server, you would typically type a mail address down here. But in our case, when we use MailTrap, it's not a email address. It's just a username that's been generated automatically. But don't worry, I will show you why it's an email address that it wants and not just a string like this. Because it would be logical that this was a normal normal email address that you want to insert but I will show you why if we click finish and now when it's done setting itself up we're going to hit the controllers folder and open the account controller because it's actually down here at the bottom that it's going to send the emails to the user and as you can see here it's actually getting the network credentials from the configuration file where it gets the value that is the SMTP user and that's fine because if we go back to MailTrap, they actually have an example here where if we say plain C sharp, you can see that it wants the network credentials to be the username that we have and our password. So that Rats and Blazers Studio wants to use the username and password in the network credentials, that's fine. But where the problem comes in is that when we have the email who it's sent from, then it wants an email address. But in this case, we still use the username, which in a real world scenario would be quite normal to do. But when you use a mail server that traps the email like MailTrap, where you get a username that is not an email, email address then you cannot say that this is from and then our username so just like I did I just created an email I said event and let's just call it event.com in this case it doesn't matter what you enter here because mail trap will just catch it and you don't even have to have access to the email that you sent from and it's also smart because you could actually say that you want to send email from different email addresses and that is very easy to test when you are allowed to enter every kind of email that you want but let's try and run this application to see that it actually sent the emails now so we say run and now we get the default login page for a Rats and Blazers Studio application. And let's go and hit sign up. And we just want to sign up with my normal email and then create a password and say register. And okay, I already used this email in our database. So I'll just delete some of the characters and say register because I'm not going to receive this email anyway. It's MailTrap that will trap this mail. So let's say register again. And now we can see that the registration is accepted and we have received an email. So if we go back to MailTrap, you can see that it dumped in right here. 
And if I click the email, you can now see that it actually came from this mail that we just entered inside Ransom Blazer Studio. And it's it was actually going to this email. And of course, the link is also working because if we want to confirm our registration, we can click it and it now says your registration has been confirmed. So if you want to test out the mails that your Rats and Blazers Studio application is sending, then I think MailTrap is a good solution. And if I just go back to MailTrap, you can see in the inboxes that we can actually have 50 mails inside our mailbox and it's all free. So as you can see now, I have zero that is unread and I have three mails in my mailbox right now. And when this number it's 50 then you just have to delete some of the emails so that you can get more space so this was just a short video about how you set up mail trap inside rats and places studio i hope you enjoy it and please like the video and subscribe to my channel i will try to keep up with these rats and places studio videos and what i hear is that there's not many of these rats and places studio videos right now and tutorials in general and i think that's a shame because it's a very nice tool to use to easily set up a very complicated website and what normally would take yeah, hours you can now do in just a few minutes but i hope this was useful and else just have a nice day bye